Okay, we are back. Sorry, I had some technical issues. Um, I think I'm going to adjust my settings slightly and I'm going to zoom in on my code. Okay, cool. So, as I was saying, um, we're going to loop through. We're going to say if count is less than zero, then we're going to do um, we're going to put a variable in here position equals zero. Um, we're going to say position equals count plus one. And then we will say system dot out dot print line position. Cool. And then we're going to run this code. That that looks wrong to me. Um, when count is greater than zero, we want it to be less than zero. So, so I've done a little bit of thinking, um, and I've realised that this code wouldn't work. And the reason that this code wouldn't work is the fact that count. First of all, my crocodile was the wrong way around. So we got 281 because the very last time that count was greater than zero was at the end. Obviously because we have plus 100, 280 floors, right? So that was problem one, but then that led on to problem two. And we're saying, why is it getting this far through our loop? Why isn't it quitting earlier? And that's when I realized you switch it around and it's going to show you when it's negative. That's fine. But without this condition here, it's going to update position every single time it becomes negative and it might become negative multiple times. So what we have here is position equals zero at the top. Um, and position is never going to be zero ever again because count will never be zero ever again. Other than on in the very, very first instance, count will be zero, uh, but even then that's correct, that's correct, so sorry, I'm just thinking out loud here, so, okay, so say in the first instance, character equals positive, count goes to positive, count is not greater than zero, so this doesn't even matter, say it is negative, count is negative, um, so this condition, this is triggered and position equals zero, which it does. Therefore, position equals count plus one. Count equals zero plus one, position one. That is the condition, the very first example, sorry, the example that we saw on the question, okay? Um, so yeah, even on the first run, even if it failed on the first count, even if it went negative on the very first position of the array, this wouldn't be an issue. So I'm gonna rerun and we, ooh, that's, hmm, that's interesting. That is very, very interesting. Um, because this value is wrong. So, count keeps track of how many, uh, rows, oh, how many floors we are above and below. I keeps track of the position. So yes, we're checking against count and we want the first time that count becomes zero. However, we want to mess with this value I. We don't want to use count because count can be, you know, could be whatever. In this case, what did we have? I can't I don't I can't quite understand why that's happened, but I don't think it's gonna be an issue anymore. There, yes it is. I was absolutely wrong. Wait, hang on, am I wrong? No. I don't think I'm wrong. I'm going to try this because I think it's correct, and then if not we will come back and debug. Are we good to go? Yeah. Testing, testing one, two. Uh we pop that in here. 
There we go. Do you have the right answer? One gold star, closer to powering the weather machine. We've completed day one. Piece of cake. Um, so yeah. And now we have, look, we have the little stars and we have one level on the Christmas tree. Um, so what am I trying to say here? I guess uh, a big thing that I found uh, as a programmer or technic or in the technical industry in general is not panicking when you get an error. So, you know, the second time that we ran that, I didn't understand the error, but I, I stayed cool had another think about it, spotted my mistake and fixed it. Obviously, these are tiny, tiny errors, you know, like an enterprise situation, the, the error is going to be much bigger. Um, but yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's important. It's important to remain level-headed when you're dealing with tech, and it's important to, to just stick with it. You know, I still think that I've got a long way to go before I'm like the master of computers. Um, I know when I was younger learning this program, it was even more so like that. So you just have to stick with it and it will work out. But yeah, that is the end of day one. Um, I'm hoping day two is a little bit more challenging because this video in particular seems like a bit of a cop out. But um, it should be good. I hope everyone's enjoyed and I'll see you in the next one.